वेलकम टू दिस एपीसोड ऑफ द हरफ्रीत सिंह शो अज के सैगमेंट में थोड़ी मुलाकात कर जा रहे हैं रॉबर्ट मर्सिक जो सा मेहमान ने एक कंस्ट्रक्शन फील्ड में काम करते हैं पर ही एज अ बेंट ऑफ माइंड टू एड स्पिरिचुअलिटी ऑलसो जिंदगी दे उतार चढ़ाव रहा है जिंदगी एक जर्नी है कि डेस्टीनेशन है यह हर एक व्यक्ति से डिपेंड करता है उसकी किमें तरबीयत हुई है कि उसकी थॉट्स ने कि उसकी सराउंडिंग्स ने सो अज असी रॉबर्ट गलबात करेंगे कि ये की महसूस करते हैं जिंदगी तजर्बे तो ये की दसना चाहते हैं कि इज़ लाइफ अ जर्नी और अ डेस्टीनेशन आप स्वागत करते हैं रॉबर्ट का रॉबर्ट वेलकम टू द प्रोग्राम थैंक यू वेरी मच थैंक यू फॉर बीइंग हियर अगेन लाइफ इज़ अ जर्नी और अ डेस्टीनेशन यू नो लाइफ इज नॉट स्टिल देर आर अप्स एंड डाउन्स इन लाइफ एंड अ पर्सन लर्नस अ लॉट फ्रॉम दोज अप्स एंड डाउन्स एंड देर आर मैनी हू लर्न बट मैनी हू जस्ट सकम टू दैट प्रेशर एंड दे यू नो वी सी इन टूडे सोसाइटी देर आर सो मैनी पीपल हू आर अंडर डिप्रेशन or tension just because of the workload what we put on ourselves so you are in the construction industry where there's a lot of you know pressure on you always running around lots of things happening and then everything has to be coordinated and then we have our set targets we want to fulfill those that's great you know we become successful by those but actually in life what do you feel is life a journey or a destination well thank you i think that's a fantastic question i believe that life uh, is a journey not a destination okay and i've learned the most from my downs than i ever did in my ups mm-hmm. um i've learned um what real real relationships are only in the hard times um i know today that um because of when you do go through challenges you really understand when you start to pick up the momentum to get back onto a, a higher path mm-hmm. but challenges are to test you are we going to stay stuck and you're only staying stuck in your mind of what you believe you can do and what you can't do and whenever you feel the most challenged i know that for myself that to slow myself down um look at what the worst case scenario can be right and then just let it go Mm-hmm. Because in life, nine times out of ten, the way you think things are going to work out doesn't work. They out. never work out that way. Right. So, mm-hmm. it's, for me, it's very important. I I know that today. I just I keep on doing the next right thing, um, making the next right obvious step. Mm-hmm. Um, I say to people, um, it's like driving a car from Vancouver to New York. Right. At night time, uh, you're driving your car and your headlights are on. Your headlights illuminate the next three hundred feet in front of you. Right. So you trust as you're driving mm-hmm. the next 300 feet in front of you are illuminating as well. So you trust that. Right. So you'd make the next right obvious decision for yourself. Mm-hmm. And I, I you inside have um y- when something feels good and feels right, that's a natural vibrational energy that you're picking up. Right. And when it feels wrong and you know it's wrong, then you know you should make that decision. Mhm. So these are things that I've learned through my journey. Right, great. Uh, you have touched two important points one thing is you know in today's fast paced life we all want to reach the top and to reach the top we many times succumb to many pressures you know our values our principles whatever we have and then we try to reach that destination and once we reach that destination we feel that we have succeeded when we talk about success as such when you succumb to the pressures or you sideline your values to reach the destination is it justified when towards the end you have achieved that thing when you ha- do some retrospection have a look or s- do some self analysis what do you feel because in today's life that's a issue challenge what people are facing we talk big about values and principles and our religion the values that has taught us but when it falls on us we succumb to that and we say okay that's fine that's just theoretical in practice this doesn't work because honesty is a great policy everybody says but do we really follow that that's what the question is so how to make yourself so strong that your values guide you not other issues or other circumstances force you to follow them well how do you make yourself strong because um being honest sometimes comes with a lot of uh negative energy from people because people don't like the truth mm-hmm. and they don't like to be held accountable right but if you um and i tell my children this same fact you can uh, 
tell your father a lie. You can tell your mother a lie. You can tell your teacher a lie. But you've lied to yourself three times. Mm -hmm. And the more you lie to yourself, the more you become in denial that in fact you don't know what the truth or a lie is after a while. Mm -hmm. But what happens is down the road, it catches up to you in one way or another. If you live your life in truth and you speak honesty, you know that you don't have to remember what you said yesterday because the truth is always easier to remember than a lie would be. Mm -hmm. uh, and it's going to be tested. You're always going to be tested. You're going to be tested by people all the time. But if it feels right, do it. Right. If it feels wrong, don't do it. Because you're left with the residual of that feeling. Mm -hmm. And the more bad things you put inside of you, it comes out in other ways. Right. Um, you start to drink mm -hmm. more. You start to spend less time at home because it's unbearable about what you feel about yourself. And everything catches up to us sooner or later. Mm -hmm. uh, you talked about destiny. Uh, when we say destiny, do we carve our own destiny or destiny is given to us by whatever we believe in? I believe whether it's God or the universe, uh, everyone has different beliefs, mm -hmm. guides us. And I think there, there are messages in front of us all the time. If you're receptive to those messages, and God speaks through people, and the universe speaks through people, and you wouldn't believe if you're receptive to that, people give you the answers without you even asking them. And I believe that spiritually, it guides you. It guides you in life, if you're receptive to that. Mm -hmm. But if you're narrow-minded and you're negative, you will never reach that understanding of that direction in life. Right. I'm a firm believer of that. So you need to stay receptive to the information around you. Mm -hmm. You have to process it. Now you process it with your mind, but you process it with your heart. Right. And if your heart and mind are connected, you can usually make the best uh, decision for your own life. Mm -hmm. You talked about alignment, the alignment between the mind and the heart. Most of the times our heart says us something, we don't listen to it, uh, we generally use more of the mind. So how to bring that alignment between the heart and the mind, that's a wonderful thing if we understand. Could you elaborate on this that when life falls on you, how to make sure that your heart also is listened to because the gut feeling what we have, mm -hmm. it tells us always whether we are right or wrong. As you said, you have to choose between right and wrong. Right. But over here, how to make sure that uh, what you're going to pursue is going to be in your interest. Uh, we'll go for a short break, come back and learn more about this from you as to how we need to pursue this particular aspect of aligning the heart and the mind. Thank you. Thank you. So, Hunter Josi Galbat Kiti was the which Robert Dahi Kena Hagak is in the Gita which ups and downs the Andaihan. Ups and downs today, ne, oh, in Sanu, who are strong, Brandene. Hamisha in Jodo, Banda Chalat, which Hunda, the Changios, the Aspas, Dostri Hundane, Sajan Mitrvi Hundane, Pravarvi Hunda, like in Kaivar, Jodo, Mada Samanda, Ta Usame, Harikoi Chadjanda, like in Usame to Adi Dredta, to Ada Vishwash today, who a both important role play Kersegda, he kiss passing to see a Gejana Hagai. Manopoche, Kismat, the Jodo Sigalkarne, destiny, Usla con create Karda. In other can I get to see a hoge circumstances banjandane to a day aspas a home hall bandajatonu guide garda to a day and drovi a kavaz and the just no kijadu to see sundeo to automatically to see apni kismat api serjdeo. Heart at a mind the alignment the concept to te break to pelan and a toy attach kitasi. Wapasane at Hor Jankirene, Robert Tho, Kikis three can an alignment no Hor strong nagas. Remedios and Company the Ataramagil apne kitavich Maharat Rakdehan. अते एंथनी रिमीडियोस दे 30 साल दे तजरबे हेठ काम करदे ए वकील कॉर्पोरेट बिजनेस फैमिली लॉ विल्स एस्टेट रियल एस्टेट बिजनेस मर्जर्स अते एक्विजिशंस बारे सही सलाह देंदे हन वैंकूवर डाउनटाउन विच कामयाबी तो बाद हुन सरी बर्नबी ते रिचमंड विच भी ए सेवावा दे रहे हन इना दे दफ्तर चंडीगढ़ मनीला ते शंघाई विच भी हन छोटा हो या बड़ा केस याद रखो रिमीडियोस एंड कंपनी फीस बहुत वाजिब लेंदे हन 6046491555 once again, welcome back to the program. My father is Robert Mercer, who is a man. He is a man who 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 is Thank you. Thanks. So we were talking before the break about the alignment of the heart and the mind. 
Uh, could you elaborate on this? How to, you know, align because misalignment happens very fast. Yes, so how to align it? Let's take some instance, if you can give an example, and immediately how, if you are aware of it, your mind is aware that, yes, I have to align myself to that particular thing, how to go about? Well, I think that in life, we're always pulled in many di different directions. Mm -hmm. Your culture and my culture, you know, the parents are very strong, and, um, you know, then you have your children, and then you have your relatives, and you have everyone saying something different. I think it's important to listen to everybody, right. to hear the message then to process that message mm -hmm. and then the, make that answer with your heart. Right. So it's important to get all the information. It's important to hear everybody's opinion and values. Mm -hmm. You listen, you give yourself time, and then what you feel is right, you make that decision because there's nothing wrong, worse in this, in this world than mm -hmm. making a decision that you know is wrong, someone else told you to do, and then when you are wrong, you're held accountable and you knew it was wrong. Right. So now you're stuck with the wrong answer and you're stuck with a feeling that you know it doesn't feel so good so i think that you give yourself time you listen to everyone uh, what they have their opinions mm -hmm. you process it through your mind because the mind is basically a processor right but the heart feels the answer through the vibrational energy that we have around us it feels right that's the answer that you go with that's the answers that i go with now and like i said before I was pulled in so many different directions. Mm -hmm. So you don't know if you're going to go left, you're going to right. Because right. some people are telling you to take a left. Some people tell you to take a right. Mm -hmm. So how do you know what is the right answer for you? Right. It's very important. So you have to ground yourself and you should have uh, that guts, I would say, to say no when you feel that what you are being asked to do is not the right thing, which is not aligning with your principles. That's 110%. Yeah, I believe that. Mm -hmm. No is a very powerful word. Right. People don't like the word no when yeah. they've been told that, mm -hmm. but it actually frees you from a situation. I know that before in my construction, uh, when I was younger, I would try to say yes to everybody. Mm -hmm. But there's only one of you, and you can only get one place at one time. So right. you've told 10 people, yes, I'm going to be there at 2. I'm mm -hmm. going to be there at 3. I'm going to be there at 4. So what happens is you lose your word. Right. And once you lose your word, it's hard to get your word back. Mm -hmm. So if I can't do something, and, 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 and the, the irony of that is that this, people say yes out of fear because they don't want to lose the job. They don't want to get someone angry. So they say yes, just to temporarily get out of that situation. What I've learned is this. If a customer comes to me and says, can you start the job at this time? Mm -hmm. I say, and if I can't, they say no. Right. Uh, you know, if you need to find somebody else, you go ahead. Mm -hmm. But if you'd like to wait for me, this is when I can start. Right. And because of that, I've got more trust, mm -hmm. more credibility by saying no than I ever did by saying yes. That's right. So credibility is the major factor that you have to establish and that you're responsible for that. Because once that credibility is established, you know, people start believing you. They start having faith in you. Right. And then, of course, you know, you can do whatever you want to do. Exactly. I tell my customers, mm -hmm. I tell them, and my clients, and my clients eventually become my friends and right. very good friends. And I say this to them at the beginning. Mm -hmm. I will be the first one on this job. I right. will deal with the architects. I'll deal with the engineers. I'll deal with the city. And that in itself is a big job. Oh, yes. But also, I build you your project, and I'll be there right at the end to when you get your occupancy permit. Mm -hmm. So once you've done that once with somebody, and they see the way you treat them, and they see the way how you deal with stressful and um, difficult situations. And they see that you've come together. But more than that, I tell my client, as much as you choose me for, to do this project, mm -hmm. I choose you to work for you as well. Right. And when you both come to that, area, that space, mm -hmm. then you actually work together. But if you're looking at somebody mm -hmm. and getting hired under a fear... If I don't get this job, I can't pay my bills, I can't move forward, you will never have a full, complete job and have a great relationship with your client at the end. Right. So basically, it's the vibrational level, what you're saying, that you're attracting what you're focusing upon. 100%. Because uh, when we talk about the law of attraction, you know, there has been a lot of talk about law of attraction. We, since childhood, have been told that, you know, it's your perspective. Whether you see a glass half empty or half full, it is up to you. But then again, you know, we forget uh, when some challenges happen and we again start focusing on the negative, which ultimately is attracting the negative. So again, uh, Robert, if you can tell our viewers today as to when they are facing some challenge and then uh, whatever field they are in, at that time, how to make sure or how to make yourself more stronger that again, whatever your values you believe in, you, f you know, remain attached to those 
and let those things happen which you want rather than which you don't want to happen? Well, that's a very good question. Thanks, Harpreet. I think that um, I've learned today to feel comfortable mm -hmm. in feeling uncomfortable. Right. A lot of people in this world, as uh, soon as they feel a little bit uncomfortable, it scares them and they, they, they don't like that feeling. Right. I've learned anytime I want to grow uh, spiritually, financially, emotionally, mm -hmm. everything lives outside my comfort zone. So I need to feel uncomfortable. And once I push through that, and I've actually learned that through my own journey, mm -hmm. I become stronger. But you can only do that on your own. Right. So I believe it's critical to um, stay true to who you are because I tell people, you have no way of getting away from yourself. Right. You wake up with yourself, you go to bed with yourself, and if you feel restless, irritable, and discontent with yourself, that will show up in your other world, outer world as well. Mm -hmm. And you are your best friend, as you have mentioned. You know, you are your best friend. You are. Or you can be your best enemy. It is up to you. It is up to you. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you can. When you talk about satisfaction, you know, a satisfaction level of every person is different. One gets satisfied by drinking. One gets satisfied by, you know, acquiring more materialistic things. One gets satisfied by spiritual, uh, you know, efforts or whatever it is. So when it comes to satisfaction, uh, how to measure that satisfaction like for example you have been blessed with a wonderful business a wonderful family and you are satisfied to your own level what you want to do but still everybody wants to go ahead a little bit more and more so what would be you tell to our viewers today as to how to set up a bar for yourself as far as satisfaction is concerned well that's a, i think it's a great question as well you have a lot of great questions today <laughs> um so I tell people and I tell myself more than anything because you always have that voice inside your head that talks right. to you all, all day long. Mm -hmm. um, be appreciative for what you have. Right. Never forget what you have. But it's always great to want more. But want more in a positive way. So, you know, you have your health. Uh, it's funny, my dad, my dad, he's, uh, he's always been a very strong person in my life and he, he's... He's shown me love I can never even tell you. And my mom, and he says to me, uh, a dying man, uh, a healthy man has a million wishes. Right. And a dying man only has one. One, yeah. So it's all perspective. Mm -hmm. um, but I know I'm grateful for my health. I'm grateful for my family. I'm grateful for the opportunity to make that decision, mm -hmm. uh, the next right decision. Now, how you push past that is um, I... I have to feel energy and mm -hmm. I I'm very I'm a, I've always been a feeler ever since I was a little boy I felt energy and I didn't understand it when I was younger mm -hmm. as I'm older now what helps me is that I feel people's energy right. and I can feel their intent mm -hmm. whether it's good or whether it's bad right and as soon as that I feel, pick up on that vibration line, and they may not even know what they're exuding but mm -hmm. I pick it up right and I say to myself I'm not, uh, in, internally, because that voice says to us, mm -hmm. I will not deal with this person or put myself in this situation. Right. Uh, so that's how I gauge myself, mm -hmm. and that's how I gauge my life. Right. And my success, because I've done that, has gone incredibly. Wonderful. It was a pleasure talking to you. Thank you for your time. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. So, Joa, when we talked about it, Robert said that when we talk about attraction, the law of attraction, we think that we are attracting what we are attracting. ਇਹ ਸਾਡੇ ਪਰਸਪੈਕਟਿਵ ਤੇ ਡਿਪੈਂਡ ਕਰਦਾ ਹੈ ਕਿਉਂਕਿ ਆਮ ਤੌਰ ਤੇ ਜੇਕਰ ਅਸੀਂ ਹਮੇਸ਼ਾ ਹੀ ਕਿਸੇ ਚੀਜ਼ ਪ੍ਰਤੀ ਖੁਸ਼ ਨਹੀਂ ਹੁੰਦੇ ਤਾਂ ਉਸ ਦਾ ਕਾਰਨ ਹੁੰਦਾ ਹੈ ਕਿ ਅਸੀਂ ਉਹੀ ਚੀਜ਼ ਨੂੰ ਅਟਰੈਕਟ ਕਰ ਰਹੇ ਹੈਗੇ ਆ ਇਸ ਕਰਕੇ ਆਪਣੇ ਪਰਸਪੈਕਟਿਵ ਨੂੰ ਜੇਕਰ ਅਸੀਂ ਚੇਂਜ ਕਰਾਂਗੇ ਤਾਂ ਡੈਫੀਨਿਟਲੀ ਰਿਜ਼ਲਟਸ ਵੀ ਵੱਖਰੇ ਹੀ ਹੋਣਗੇ ਜ਼ਿੰਦਗੀ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਚੈਲੰਜਸ ਤਾਂ ਆਣ ਗਏ ਹੀ ਲੇਕਿਨ ਚੈਲੰਜਸ ਨਾਲ ਕਿਸ ਤਰ੍ਹਾਂ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਕਿਸ ਨਜ਼ਰੀਏ ਨਾਲ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਨੂੰ ਨਜਿੱਠਦੇ ਹੋ ਇਹ ਤੁਹਾਡੇ ਤੇ ਡਿਪੈਂਡ ਕਰਦਾ ਹੈ ਸੈਟੀਸਫੈਕਸ਼ਨ ਦੀ ਜਦ ਗੱਲ ਕਰਦੇ ਹਾਂ ਹਰ ਇੱਕ ਵਿਅਕਤੀ ਦੀ ਵੱਖਰੀ ਸੈਟੀਸਫੈਕਸ਼ਨ ਹੁੰਦੀ ਹੈ ਲੇਕਿਨ ਹੋਰ ਚਾਹਨਾ ਇੱਕ ਚੰਗੇ ਪਰਸਪੈਕਟਿਵ ਵਿੱਚ ਚੰਗੇ ਵਾਸਤੇ ਉਹ ਇੱਕ ਚੰਗੀ ਗੱਲ ਹੈ ਕੋਈ ਮਾੜੀ ਗੱਲ ਨਹੀਂ ਹੈਗੀ ਲੇਕਿਨ ਇਸ ਵਾਸਤੇ ਸਿਰਫ ਸਾਰਾ ਕੁਝ ਹੀ ਆਪਣੇ ਆਪ ਨੂੰ ਦਾਹ ਤੇ ਲਾ ਦੇਣਾ ਇਹ ਗੱਲ ਨਹੀਂ ਬੰਦੀ ਆਪਣੇ ਵੈਲਿਊਜ਼ ਆਪਣੇ ਪ੍ਰਿੰਸੀਪਲਸ ਨਾਲ ਜੇਕਰ ਅਸੀਂ ਸਟਿਕ ਕਰਾਂਗੇ ਤਾਂ ਰਿਜ਼ਲਟ ਵੀ ਵਧੀਆ ਹੀ ਆਣਗੇ ਹਾਂ ਕੁਝ ਦੇਰ ਲਈ ਤਾਂ ਸ਼ਾਇਦ ਸਾਨੂੰ ਕੁਝ ਕਾਮਯਾਬੀ ਮਿਲ ਜਾਏ ਲੇਕਿਨ